Are you struggling against the out route? Even if you set every player in man coverage? Well, I've got something great for you. I'd like to welcome the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Cransmelt here and we got a great tip for you here today. How to stop the unbumpable out routes. So you guys have seen a lot of these out routes as you can see Riley Cooper on the left side of the field. He's in one of these unbumpable, unbumpable out routes. Uh, we're running a stock cover three sky defense in the three four. We're doing the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook um, if you guys want to follow along. Um, but I'm just going to show you the out route if you haven't seen it yet. Online, you're a lucky person because it will tear you up. It gets about seven plus yards a throw. Um, it really is very effective. And look right there, we got at least 15 yards. It is going to kill your defense if you do not know how to stop it. Um, obviously, I'm not showing you guys this to abuse this out route. Uh, and I know some people are going to find the out route and they're going to use it every play. And shame on you, you fools. This is a how to stop the out route. So, uh, there's two basic ways to stop it. One, from this same formation, switch it to cover two. It's gonna look like this. Um, personally, me, I like to re-put him in a hook zone, uh, the middle linebacker, and make him not back, drop back as far that way if somebody gets a drag or something. Um, so in case, you know, he has Selick on a drag, I'm able to, or a drag, I'm able to stop it a lot easier. Um, but he's not on a drag, so out route against cover two, watch this. Okay, my, uh, my corner was there to break it up. So, uh, good play by the, the corner. Again, let's show you another cover two. Uh, you're gonna get really good animations with that corner. Pass interference, but still stops it. A lot of times you're also going to get the interception with the cover two. Uh, it really just depends on where they throw it, like the timing. Um, and sometimes they will still catch it for a little gain, um, but you're gonna be in a lot better position to one, make an interception, and two, make the stop on the play. Uh, again, you can you know, re-put him in a hook zone. You can put him in another one if you want as well. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so yeah, again, out route. Boom, there to make the tackle for five yards. So not too big of a deal, but that's, uh, that's one basic way to stop it. Another way, uh, if you're still in your cover three, bring uh, over your closest guy that is in a flat zone. Press A or X on the PlayStation 4, and then curl to flat, which is right on the D-pad, and you're gonna put yourself in this purple zone right here. Pretty effective, I think it's one of the best zones this year, uh, and then, you know, you're not going to get the best coverage, but I mean, right there, you know, it is a lot better. And personally, I like this way better than the cover two way, just because cover three uh, is a lot better uh, than cover two, in my opinion. Uh, again, we're not even using This is all the computer doing it itself. Uh, I do have the guy highlighted so you can see um, what, it, what he's doing. But, you know, I mean, I can be on anybody, really. Um, this time I will probably be able to beat it. It's just the step he makes. It's it's better to bring him a little bit on the outside of the uh, the receiver uh, like that, but still in the way to bump him a little bit. Little overthrow there that might have been picked off. I'm not sure. But so cover two and then this hook zone or these this purple zone will help you stop it. Also, if you want, you can. Uh, do a little shading. I like to shade underneath. That's Y or triangle. And then down on the right stick is what I like to do personally. Um, but really, you can do whatever you want. Again, it's really about getting it practiced and seeing what works for you. Um, but I have noticed that that's what works for me. Um, you can also transfer this basically over into uh, cover to man. Uh, it'll be the same steps. They were able to make the interception, so that's pretty good. Um, so say you're in a cover two man, you're going to bring the blitzer. You're going to lose a uh, pass rusher here, but you're going to just bring him over, 
put him in a flat zone. And uh, then you switch off. And then you got a guy covering man and a guy covering zone. You're definitely going to get the stop there. Just uh, man's. I don't know if I showed you guys already man uh, against this out route, but it, I mean, this out route will beat man coverage too every single time. So it's really the fact of having that hook zone there, but also the man for, is for more for safety, uh, just in case he, um, you know, calls, throws it, you know, throws a streak down the field. You don't want to be a purple route covering it. Um, so yeah, again, cover two, we'll show you one more time. Cover two corner is there to almost help the interception get a little tip ball and then for cover three bring the guy over that's in a flat you can shade down if you want oh he's perfect perfect position to get that interception also there's one more way that uh is not as effective but it still works you don't make any changes you user this guy practice user your user skills and uh get better at it what I like doing is uh, walking around, and right when they're about to throw it, you start sprinting. Uh, it's it, I can't really do this with one with uh, one hand or two controllers. Uh, it's a little bit more challenging, but we're trying. Uh, again, it's a lot harder just because you gotta practice and see exactly where the cut is. But if you're wrong, um, and it's not an out route, you know, and you you know you oh I thought he was gonna cut. I mean you just stay in your spot you know um, but I really hope this helped you guys I know a lot of people are struggling to stop the out routes because they're so dominant this year I really hope you guys enjoyed it. and if you want some more defensive or offensive tips let me know what you need help with in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video peace out Why you need to brace yourself? Boy, you getting clowned on. We ain't talking Dave Chappelle and Pix.